members will turn to the report of the nominating committee. And to do that, I uh, will turn again over to Donald, who has shared that report with the committee as sort of a committee of the whole. Uh, I think now his report to the full body will be taken <coughs> as a motion. Do you like to move that report? Yes, I would like to move or make a motion that we approve the nominating committee's recommendations for the positions of Chair Marshall Cohen, Vice Chair Donald Hoffman, Secretary Bob Bailey, Treasurer Senator Leo, and Executive Director Janera Peck. Any discussion on that motion? I have one item of discussion, that is to say thank you. Thank you, Marshall. Thank you, Donald. Um, thank you, Fazal who's been instrumental in getting us where we are today. Um, thank you to Bob, who I'm hoping will uh, be here at some point while we're meeting. Um, and, uh, and many thanks to Janera. Uh, and with that, do I hear a second? Second. All in favor of that slave office? Aye, aye. Any opposition? Janera, do you think we need to walk through and elect each individual separately, or is the approval of that report sufficient? And congratulations. Um, and I am happy to turn the remainder of this meeting over to your new chair. He's willing to accept that uh, that chore. You need to push the button on your own. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, Thank you all very much. I appreciate the, the honor and, and hope that I can live up to what I know all your commitments are to make this uh, a very useful and effective organization. Um, just my own view is that this is a terrific opportunity. Um, I've said for a long time in various places that state governments are really important to the nuclear industry. And I think what the governor did to set this up to help the legislature it really gives us an opportunity to prove that. And I think given the, what all of us have going here in Virginia is very, very, uh, very critical as the foundation we can do a lot more. <coughs> so with that, the first thing I want to do, <coughs> excuse me, first thing I want to do is ask you to join me in expressing appreciation to Maureen. Um, we wouldn't be here if Maureen wasn't Maureen and was doing what she was doing. And so you know, get this thing launched and so forth. I have a lot of trepidation about following her, but nevertheless, uh, I think I should. <coughs> so please join me if you would. And if your minutes could reflect just a formal recognition and appreciation for what Marie has done and, and look forward to her continuing and contributing uh, to our success. So with that, the um, Next item is review and adoption of the goals and objectives. Um, I was going to ask Tara. I had a hard time. So I was going to turn it to her. So, and I think we all have a copy of it. None of us. So, Tara, go for it. Mr. Chair, thank you. Um, what you have before you is a summary of the proposed goals and objectives as identified through discussion during your, your October meeting. Um, I would invite you to spend a little bit of time perhaps reviewing this thoroughly as well as the members of the public in attendance. Um, Mr. Chair, what I might recommend, um, given that this document is not provided to you in the public until today, is that I accept suggestions, changes, revisions today, record that, and then present for your consideration at the next meeting uh, a uh, final document for your consideration. Okay, I, I think that makes sense. We can just sort of informally do it, or more formally, we can make a motion to adopt and then table a motion and then have it uh, on the agenda at the next meeting if that is acceptable to the members of the board. Is there a second? Okay, there's a motion to adopt pending. We can have a discussion now if anybody's interested in then uh, recommend a, a tabling motion before we take any final action. So I'll open up for any comments, discussions, or questions. The only comment I'd like to make um, as folks review this between this meeting and the next is to remember that we have a consortium to create um, and that the concept here is that really most of the work, actual work, will be done by the consortium, which 
will then report to this authority on a regular basis. So as you read through goals and objectives, I just want you to keep that in mind um, and, and discern which items belong on our list as an authority and which items belong on the list of the consortium which we uh, expect to create. So. Okay. So one question I would have, Janet, is just I think we want to be sure that these are all conforming to the legislation. Uh, I don't just I don't expect that they're not, but just if, if someone was interested in sort of comparing and making sure that we're not going some direction that the legislation didn't intend to contemplate, but both we have to make the legislation. Yes, sir. Um, what my office can do is conduct a, a formal review, side by side analysis, which is for each. Other comments? Committees, because we are not the body that will do most of the work, 
I didn't set up standing committees in these bylaws. Um, my thought was that the chair would appoint committees, the body could decide to comprise committees as needed as we go forward. That certainly is not specified in the legislation, so that's perhaps a point of discussion. Um, and then the amendment, the provision for amending these bylaws, I have purposefully, because these are the first bylaws of the organization, made that a relatively low bar so that as we move forward um, into operation, uh, if we find the need to alter these, uh, it's an easy thing to do. Thank you. Unless there's uh, some sort of legal need to adopt these today, I would like to suggest we take the same action as we just did on the rules of objectives um, and give folks a chance to, to take a good look and to send in some thoughts and ideas on necessary any amendments uh, on this as we can get into a final uh, proposal to come at the next meeting. Uh, is there any, there's no objection to that, how we proceed on that, on that basis as well, because there are some things that you know, everybody should be comfortable with as a community member. So the document for us. So with that again, if I could have a motion to uh, adopt, you know, we'll take one motion. So move second. Move and seconded. Uh, any other discussion, comments, or questions now while we have it on the chair? If not, then uh, uh, we can take a motion to the uh, table to the next meeting. Thank you. All in favor, aye. 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 Mr. Chair, um, the, there has been some discussion 